Hi everyone, this is the another example on correlation coefficients and regression lines. See the statement of the problem. In a partially destroyed laboratory, there is a destroyed laboratory, a record of an analysis of correlation data is available. So the following results are only available. Okay. In a partially destroyed laboratory, the following correlation data is available. What is it? Variance of X series. Maybe X represents something. Uh, variance of that X series is 9. Equations of regression lines are given to you. This is the first equation and this is the another regression line of X. Another regression line. Then find mean of X and Y. So you have to find out X bar and Y bar. And the correlation coefficient are. Here you have to find out the standard deviation of Y series. Because variance is given to you which is sigma square sigma x square it given be 9 so standard deviation is nothing but sigma x it would be 3 by using this one you have to find out sigma y okay this is also very important and repeated problem in the semester exams of many universities so all of you please prepare carefully <coughs> sorry first of all write the given regression lines Given regression lines are, what are they? First one is 8x minus 10y plus 66 is equal to 0 is given to you. You can take this constant to right side. You will get negative 66. Take it equation number 1. And this one is 40x minus 18y is equal to 214. <coughs> Sorry. So first one. To find out the means of x and y. So to find x bar and y bar. From the properties of regression lines. Already I told you in previous video. Once watched that previous video also. The point x bar and y bar. If you take x coordinate as x bar and y coordinate as y bar. Then this point passes through the. both regression lines we know that x bar and y bar passes through the both regression lines so this point must satisfies these both equations so what happened replace x by x bar replace y by y bar then also that equation should hold so 8x bar minus 10y bar is equal to negative 66 40 x bar minus 18 y bar is equal to 214 by solving this both equations we can easily get the values of x bar and y bar see operate mode first point 5 is the equation so operate 5 next choose first point because we have only two unknowns. Here A n and B n are the only two unknowns. So choose one. Write the coefficients in order. X bar coefficient is 8 is equal to. Y bar coefficient is negative 10. Don't forget to write negative sign here. Is equal to negative 66 is the constant. Is equal to 40 is the X bar coefficient in the second equation. This is minus 18 is equal to constant is 214. I got first value is uh, maybe your calculator shows x but you should take it as first variable in our equations which is x bar which is 13 and what is y bar operate is equal to again you will get 17 in this way we can easily find out mean of x and y next we have to find out r of x y So already you know that correlation coefficient r is the geometric mean of regression coefficients. Nothing but r is equal to byx into bxy. By using this formula we can find out r. Take it equation number 5. 
so it is enough to find out byx and it is enough to find out bx1 okay we are going to find out these both values so without loss of generality we can assume that assume that equation 1 is the regression line of y on x okay regression line of y on x so whenever you are assuming that this is regression line of y on x that line should be in the form of y is equal to ax plus b y is equal to ax plus b so you can take this 8x to right side so minus 10y is equal to already negative 66 is there don't forget it you will get minus 8x minus 66 from this what is y value divide with negative 10 minus minus gets positive 8 by 10 into x minus of minus plus 66 by 10 okay so clearly we are observing that this is in the form of y is equal to ax plus b okay here the coefficient of x is called b by x this is called b by x b suffix y x 8 by 10 it is nothing but 4 by 5 you can cancel second table which is called regression coefficient of y on x because this is regression line of y on x okay now we have to find out the another regression coefficient which is bxy see <coughs> now assume that equation number 2 is the this equation 2 is the regression line of x on y regression line of x on y so that line should be in the form of x is equal to a y plus b so take this negative 18 to right side 18 y to right side so you will get 40 x is equal to positive 18 y plus 214 so x is equal to divide with 40 you will get 18 by 40 y plus 214 highlight with your box so here the coefficient of y this is called bxy okay here bxy you can cancel the two table it would be 9 by 20 9 by 20 so finally you should replace byx and bxy in equation number 5 which is correlation coefficient c now 5 implies equation number 5 implies r is equal to root over byx what is byx 4 by 5 products bxy is 920 i got 9 by 20 so this 4 gets 5 times here so root over 9 1 into 9 9 5 5 is 25 root over 9 is nothing but 3 root over 25 is nothing but 5 3 by 5 i got 0 0.6 okay 3 by 5 is nothing but 0 0.6 Suppose here you will get greater than one value then our assumption is wrong. It means that you should take equation number 1 as regression line of x on y and uh, equation 2 is the regression line of y on x. Okay. Whenever you got r value is greater than 1 by using these values here your, your assumption is wrong. That is the conclusion. In such cases take equation number 1 as a regression line of x on y and equation number 2 as regression line of y on x okay so r is equal to 0 
Now, text editing, third point. We have to find out standard deviation of y. Text editing, standard deviation of y. So, to get this one, I will use the relation bYx. We know that bYx is equal to r into sigma y by sigma x. Okay. From this, sigma y is equal to take this denominator to numerator and r to denominator. bYx into standard deviation of x by r. So that implies sigma y is equal to what is bYx? Just we got it is 4 by 5 into from the given data see the statement once variance of x is given as 9 so variance is nothing but sigma x square is equal to 9 so from this sigma x is equal to root over 9 it would be 3 so sigma x is 3 by what is our 0 0.6 so 4 3s are 12 and 5 times of 0.6 is 3 I got it is 4 so standard deviation of y is 4 in this way we can easily find out the all unknown values from the given regression lines thank you very much in the next video i will give some more examples on correlation coefficient and regression lines thank you